Go away for it. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on Somewhere at Home today. We have Terry Jordan, the color-coded chef, and Lynn Shepard with us today, and they will be making white cupcakes. All right, you two, take it away. Hi, I'm Terry, and welcome to the color-coded chef. So, Lynn, you made the first batch of cupcakes, and you're going to get started with the second batch. I'm going to ask you to walk through the steps on how you made it, and let's kind of talk about some of the ingredients as we go through also. Take it away, Lynn. Okay, so here is some of the, the ingredients we, we're going to be using is sugar, water, egg whites, oil, vanilla, I can't read it upside down. Bacon wow. flour, <laughs> uh, salt, powder, buttermilk, and baking soda. Excellent. And, Go ahead. Um, so we're going to be needing a bowl measuring cup, the green measuring cup, the blue measuring cup, and the purple measuring cup. And then we're going to be needing the green tablespoon, the blue, and the orange spoons, and then we're going to be needing a muffin pan, and muffin liners, and a fork. So our first is, the first thing we're going to be doing is setting our oven to 350, which I already done, and then we're going to put liners in our cupcake pans. So, since I don't have any liners, I'm actually going to spray my my muffin pan with some olive oil. Okay, an olive stick spray, excellent. There we go. And then, the first step we're going to do is sugar. We're going to need one cup of sugar. So here's the one cup and the sugar. Like that. Voila. And then the next one we're going to be doing is some water. We're going to do One half cup of water. Okay. Which is like that. All right, so you're doing one half cup with it, you said? Yeah. Okay, because we had talked about um, the first basket uh, cupcakes came out a little bit dry and you're going to add a little bit more water too with that one so perfect that's fine and then the next step we're going to be doing is the liquid egg and we're going to do so a half a cup, a cup. we're going to do a cup of that a cup or a pink, half a cup it should be to the pink line Yeah, do you not want me to add more? No, you went ahead and added more water, so let's keep this one at a half a cup. Okay. Okay. So we're going to add a half a cup 
Okay. And then we're gonna need Butter powder milk. Now there's other recipes in the kit that use um, the powdered buttermilk because liquid regular buttermilk can go bad in a short, it expires in a short amount of time frame. This is really good. Um, you can also use baking powder behind this is it forms a catalyst with um, the ingredients to help the cake rise. This is really important when this recipe is made gluten-free, is to be able to help it rise. So you're getting ready to stir those ingredients? Yep. All so right. now step seven is we're gonna stir the ingredients. Oh, I can see me or not. going to add four of the one third cups of flour. So there's one. going to do a half of a teaspoon of salt, which is the pink. Hold up. Did you? Okay. Got it. I'm with you now. Lynn, can't hear you. There we go, now? Lynn, thank you. Now, okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do a, one tablespoon of baking soda. Okay. Are you on the blue? Yeah. Okay, on the blue teaspoon. Did you put in yeah. the green oil, the green tablespoon of oil yet? On step oh, 10? No. Okay. Hang on. That's all right. <laughs> so we're gonna backtrack. And we're going to do one green spoon of oil. There we go. And, then... and now you should be up to 12 for a blue spoon of vanilla. Oh, oh yep. Is vanilla. Okay, with the fork. Now we're going to mix it all together.
Well, this is the second batch you mixed up. Does it feel like it's got a little bit more liquid to it this time? Yeah, it actually does. Okay, twice you've held up the bowl and I find myself leaning forward like that will help me look into your bowl a little easier. <laughs> Thank you. I'm laughing at myself because I'm the one leaning forward like that will make a difference. <laughs> Okay, so we got it mixed up. Now we're going to take the one fourth and then we're going to scoop them. Get our pan ready. Okay. We're just going to scoop them. And for everyone watching this video, this particular recipe makes just about a 12 cupcakes exactly. Okay, we got them in the pan. All right. Now we're going to put them in the oven. Um, for no more than 15 minutes. And, and then we're going to take them out. And let them cool for at least 30 minutes. And then we can icing them. And this is what they look like. Excellent. They're all set for the Halloween. Are you going to put any sprinkles on them this time? Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> You don't have to. I was just like, it just looks perfect for fall sprinkles. I think this is perfect. And you did a very nice job icing them too. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, they look beautiful. And I know your family will enjoy them. Yep. Lynn, Lynn, thank you so much today for making white cupcakes for everyone. I do appreciate it. You're welcome. And Krista, are you back? 